Nothing personal, bro, but you are boarding like a total newbie. <gasps> okay, maybe I'm a little worried. Kick it, bro! A polar bear can hit a charge of 48 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I see that. And they've got the longest legs in the bear world. And gaining! Whoa, we've got a monster drop coming up, bro. Check out this big air! Right behind your crest! <laughs> oh, that's no newbie move. <laughs> <laughs> nice face plant, bro. <laughs> nice dance moves. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you back. What? Me worry? <gasps> Whoa, she's hunting. She knows her prey needs to surface to breathe, so she lies in wait, ambush style, for what's swimming below to pop up. Could be a beluga whale, or a seal. Or maybe... I think the crew might want to see this. Deploy fly cam. Hmm. A walrus! <laughs> 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 Martin usually wears blue, but he looks pretty good in green. <laughs> if the Crap Bros had a comedy show, I'd totally watch it. I think we just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have a lock on their coordinates, Koki? Yup. 66 degrees north, 65 degrees west. Now, it looks like there's a hectic blizzard to the west, but the bros are all clear. Ready for liftoff, Timmy Z? Not yet. The joystick is stuck! Oh, so that's where it went. Oh. Teleportation delivery is out of here. Polar bears need to be patient and focused. Unlike you, Martin. But they can wait for hours for their prey to pop up. What do you think? Oh, wait's over. Huh? What's that? Hey guys, did you get the package? Yeah, but your delivery was a little off. <laughs> nice reaction time, dude! <laughs> Are we kicker one? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, whenever you're ready, I've modified your creature power suits for Arctic survival. You know the drill? Touch the animal, hit the button, and listo! You've got creature power! What? I was almost chewed by a polar bear, and now I have to touch one to activate my suit? <laughs> Ciao. Navigation systems online. Viewing port activated. All right, let's take this new Amphis up for a test drive. <laughs> Woohoo! This is an awesome sub. It's so maneuverable. And what a view. You can see everything going on all around us. And who knows what's happening down there in the depths. There's the question. Can this sub go deep enough to find out? Whoa, we're coming. Arrow squid. And they're feeding on little amphipods, tiny microscopic animals floating in the water. Whoa. These squid are squishy <laughs> and slimy. Oh, and their suction cups kind of tickle. <laughs> hey, Aviva, I love this exploration valve feature. <laughs> oh, yeah, this amphisub rocks the deep sea. Fantastico. Got one more thing for the sub before you deep dive. Just hang out there until I can finish up this robot arm. Whew, where's my mango juice? Oh, in the fridge. Might as well test the robot arm. Ah, guys, this robot arm is going to be a great add-on to the sub. Perfect for deep sea discovery. I like these exploration valves better. I can pet wild squid pets. This is Squiddo, Squidtacular, 
Squidsicle? <laughs> Martin, are you squidding me? <laughs> squidding me. Good one, Chris. There's no way you can come up with names for a thousand squids. We'll see. This little guy is... Ah! He nipped me! Your fangs. Whoa! Check that. Make it beaks. A squid has a beak like a parrot. Whoa. Aviva, are you sure this sub has what it takes to take on the mystery of the deep sea? I mean, really deep sea. Well, that's what I'm designing it for. Small squid attacks are one thing, but what about bigger ones? Or the water pressure? I know, the deep sea is harder to explore than outer space. I'm working on it. We need a sub that can go as deep as a sperm whale and keep up with him. Nobody has ever followed a sperm whale into the deep before. I love the challenge, but it might not be something I can crack in a day. Not unless I have some big inspiration. Uh, how about this? Sperm whale at six o'clock! Whoa! All mapped in, from North America to Nepal. Great. Steady driving, Jimmy. Remember, we've got precious cargo. <laughs> She's not kidding. These hispid hares are one of the world's most endangered mammals. There are only 100 of them left, if that. That's why we have to get them home safe and sound. No problem. Just one stop to pick up Chris and Martin and we're out of here. Pick up Chris and Martin? Where are they now? They said something about testing an improvement to their adventure sleds. Improvements? Oh, brothers. I wonder what that means. Rocket jets would take sledding to a new level. Woohoo! Oh. oh, yeah! Way to lash on the jets, bro. This is awesome! Woohoo! Yeah! Jet blast! <laughs> Rightio, the Tortuga has landed. They're supposed to be somewhere around here. Well, I don't see them. Now do you see them? Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Cut the jets! Whoa. Stop. Huh. Huh. Uh, so, you guys ready to go? Uh, yes. Let's tell Jimmy we've got the brothers. Ooh. Jimmy, huh? let's go. Heading out. Looking walrus! Check it out. The herd is doing something in the mud. And look at that blubbery little guy. I'm gonna call him Blobby. And I'm gonna find out why walruses look so weird. I just gotta get in for a closer look. Chris, turn around. You're about to get a look at a giant Pacific octopus. Huh? Oh! Uh, whoa! I can't see anything! Whoa! 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 Chris, hang on! You're going down! Whoa! Oh. Hey, bro. Little help. Oh, big brother to the rescue. Again. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> nice rescue, bro. Looks like the guys ran into a snag, Aviva. Uh, are your manta riders okay? I mean, are you guys okay? We're having a blast. Uh, just a little tangled up. You mean tentacled up? Giant Pacific tentacles can grow up to nine meters. That's as long as a fire truck. 
It's like an eight-arm arm wrestle. Come on, guys, I need some data here. When you're ready to find out more about the walrus's features, I'm ready to integrate them into your suits. I uh, can't hear you, Aviva. We have tentacles stuck in our ears. <laughs> <laughs> yep, this girl's definitely stuck on me. Spinning to the left, I'm free! Was free. You know, it takes the strength of 10 people to release the grip of an octopus the size of my head. Now that's a creature's superpower. Whoa! Uh, yeah, let's find her something to eat besides us. Just gotta access my creature pod. <gasps> they won't eat us, Martin. Octopus eat clams. I think I found some. Oh, now that's using your head. There you go. Okay, suction cups grab onto the shell. Tentacle muscles pull the shell apart. Then the octopus uses his beak to eat it. And then it wins a prize. A pretty pearl. Do you want to give it to Aviva for a present? Uh, no. Do you want it stuck up your nose? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, sorry, turkey. Oh, we're getting used to the controls of this new toy of ours. Whoa! Oh, it may be only the size of a thumb, but this mini rocket jet has huge flight capability, Martin. Oh, yeah. Whoa, loose on the loose. Whoa. When we get miniaturized, there are always unexpected obstacles. But the opportunities can blast us straight to the stratosphere. Who else has a chance to miniaturize and see the birth of a snowflake up close? A cloud? And us! That sounds like a creature mission to me. Koki, Aviva, we're heading up to the clouds! Good, but remember, no dilly-dallying. This is our 34th adventure mission in a row, and I am ready for that vacation! No problem. Just a quick trip to the clouds, and we'll be right back. Quick trip? I've heard that before! Don't worry, this won't take long. Oof. We've got liftoff! Great! We're in the cloud! Tiny little water droplets and dust. And if they collide, wait, hold it, hold it, and... There! That droplet! It froze into an ice crystal! Hey, wait up! You can't outfall us, ice crystals. Yeah, we fall at least twice every adventure! Look! It's changing! Oh, yes! Woohoo! A snowflake is born! I've always wanted to see a snowflake being born. And I've always wanted to ride one! Woohoo! Oh! What a cool snowflake design! When you see them up close, every single snowflake has its own shape. Then they need their own name. I'll call you Chili. You are definitely Icer. Oh, and Freezy! And a, a snowman? Frosty. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely cold. Uh-oh, they don't like warm hugs. Ah, whoa! <gasps> you killed Freezy. Sorry, Freezy. Oh. Hang on, turbo engaged. I knew a fall was coming. Please land in soft snow, please land in soft snow. <gasps> ah! I still don't see them. Well, they're up there somewhere. Well, all I see is snowflakes. Oh. <laughs> ah. Please land in soft snow, please. <gasps> no, 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 no. Ah! Gotcha. <gasps> ah! Weird snowflake. Polar bears, octopuses, honey badgers. Cool. 
Yeah, but wait till you see my new invention, the Octopod. I'm still working on it, but with this creature-inspired super sub, the bros will be able to get some real work done. Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Oh What are you doing with my manta riders? We just invented a new extreme sport, manta boarding. They're designed for water travel, not flying over rails. Well, I happen to be an ace manta rider, so there's nothing to worry about. Famous last words. Oh yeah? Watch this. Whoa! Martin, slow down. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Oh no! Nice landing, bro. Have you got my creature power suits? Uh, no, but I did find a giant Pacific octopus. Hey, he only has seven arms. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna call him. Seven. Hey, Seven. Not one of your wilder names, bro, but hey, at least we know you can count. Brothers Krat, I'm sure Seven is very nice, but the suits are gone. Don't worry, Aviva, I'll find them. Hang on, Seven. They got sucked down by the current. Oh, and I lost seven, too. I'm so sorry, Aviva. It took me 11 months, 14 days, and three hours to develop that technology. They're prototypes. That means they're the only ones. Don't worry, Aviva. We'll just grab our scuba gear and... No, we can use the octopod. It's not finished yet, but it'll take us down further and fight the water currents. We've got to get my suits back. To the creature power suit rescue! Yeah! yeah.